you, it's Jess here. We're doing a plan with me for the week of April 4th to the 10th, and this is the week of my partner Lark's birthday. So I'm using this Scribble Prince code January 2021 mystery. This is the Galaxy Celestial one. I think it was reformatted and in the shop. Pretty sure. But um, yeah, I'm going to be using it for this week for their birthday. Uh, I pretty much just like... I just really wanted to use this birthday kit and it didn't work out for my own birthday and I really only plan two birthdays in my spreads which is mine and Lux <laughs> so that's what we're using and I'm bringing in this um, Champagne Lights Celestial foil bundle from Scribble Prince Co as well as well as some bits of um, gold foil just to go with it but um, Celestial sorry Champagne Lights and gold pretty much goes together so it's all good. So we're going to put down the bottom washi and the whole base of my typical base-ness. <laughs> um, I decided to, because I color block, I decided to do only one of that lighter pink. Um, I didn't like the the digital, the pattern as much, I should say. And um we already had the lighter pink in the bottom washi in the 15 millimeter strip, so I decided to go with more of the other colors. And that's somehow, that's uh, one of my ways of choosing what colors I want to use. Because when you color block, you have only like one column of one of the colors. So that's how I like to plan it out. It's usually my, my least favorite color or the most, one that's already really prominent and I want to make the other colors more out there yeah so that's my reasoning for that um and so now we're just gonna do the rest of the the stuff and get my bougie boxes down and what not um just using i decided i liked the um the extra girl not as the toolbox but um the way she was pictured here with the black hair and the light skin tone so I decided to use her and not use the toolbox and let me add in an extra two full boxes which there were plenty because these are mysteries you know this is an older mystery so this is a an older format as well but um, I still got good use out of it although I'm still really excited to use the new format coming up I can't wait <laughs> I'm gonna be using it at the end of May so I'm really excited I love the new format and, um, oh, and uh, Chris Press, she also reformatted. I'm excited to have a look at that. I don't think I have any yet, but I should be hauling the newer format in my next haul. And I'm excited for that because apparently she put in guidelines for cutting the 15, the bottom washi um, to 15 millimeters. So that's like a little extra something, which is nice. And what else? She changed up the little things, which I'm excited. So... Um, if you're new here, I just love using Scroll Prince Co. and Crafts Press Kits. They are my favorite. I love them. Um, a lot of it's to do with the functionals. I feel like just the functionals are just everything <laughs> half the time. Like most of the time, like sometimes the full boxes are so beautiful, but the functionals just don't work for me. So I don't get them, you know. Let me know if you're the same. It's all about it's all about the little things and the labels and the boxes and how they come together for me. <laughs> um, with the additional um, thing of pretty art, you know. Uh, well, what about this week? Well, I put in my sidebar that my partner Lock, which this whole you know plan with me is about because it's their birthday. Well, it was a um, their birthday on Wednesday, but also uh, the end of last week, and I forgot to put this in my planner um, in the day by day, but I put it in the sidebar here is that they got promoted at work. I'm so happy for them. They got a little bit of a raise, and now they have senior in front of their name, which is so awesome, in front of their position. And to think that they only started working there 11 months ago as a trainee. So they did a summer traineeship and they got a um, full time job. And now they've been promoted to senior, which is pretty awesome. According to the comments, apparently they've been trying to um, get this promotion since November last year. And they're like, apparently the person like running this company at this point, <laughs> which is a little worrisome because it is like, 
it's a multi-million dollar company but also I'm just so proud of my luck they're um they're just really talented and really good at what they do they're a they're a developer a software programmer and um yeah I'm just so happy that they're thriving at their job because if you don't know our um our journey is that we were both doing academics I was history and they were computer science and they were doing a postdoc which is why we moved to Finland from Australia and the postdocs just the academic world was just wasn't working for luck and sometimes that's okay to admit that it's like you know you need to get out for your mental health it was basically like the therapist told them you should get a, a normal job <laughs> because academic is not working and now look where they are they're they're thriving and I'm so happy for them and they really love their company I, they're they're basically like I could retire on this company so <laughs> we'll see how it goes so it's been really good and um I think that's what's made this moving to Finland all worth it because we weren't going to have the same kind of workplace in Australia at all like this so it's very very good so so happy to see them promoted and they uh you know they're cherished at work which I'm very happy about I'm just getting sappy here. It's 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 uh, just 9 a.m. and uh, I'm usually asleep until 10, so you know I, I, I've lost my mind. Anyway, I'm not a morning person. <laughs> um, so Monday, I put in Coffee Monday. Uh, if you want to know what any of the stickers are, let me know in the comments. Just describe the sticker or the day it's on, and I will let you know. Um, and then I had a plan with me go up. Um, I was going to have them up, you know, my usual plan with me is go up on Wednesday, but I've been getting stuff done on Monday, so I was like, I'll just put it up today, which is probably the same for this one as well. <laughs> um, and then we played some Elden Ring, which we've been playing. Uh, we played a lot of it this week. We got um, some big two dungeons done, which is really cool. It was like all the sorcerer magic school stuff, and that was really fun. Although uh, the magic school, the sorcerer guys were pretty hot. <laughs> and then, <clears throat> sorry, we it's the morning. I have morning throat. <laughs> um, then it was we had macas, um, and then I did a bunch of work. I think I finished up my shop set this week and released um, strange, my Stranger Things art. So that is out. And shops are using it. Um, so that's been good. And then I just ordered a Lark's Cake. There was a, um, a local cake shop on our food delivery service. So I just did a scheduled order for Friday because Lark went to work um, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And they've been working from home and the company's pretty much like, you know, work from home if you want. You don't have to come in the office. Um, so, but um, one of the higher ups came. He actually lives in Australia, <laughs> funnily enough. And he came over um, this week because he's leaving the company uh, because now he's going to work for Australian one, <laughs> which is fair enough. Um, but he came over to like say goodbye and wrap up things and he has an apartment here and blah 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 but he brought a bunch of Australian snacks for us as fellow Australians we're kind of obsessed with our snacks um <laughs> so we, he brought a bunch of twisties including chicken twisties which is so good I haven't had chicken twisties for years even in Australia and Tim Tams and pizza shapes so also tasty uh, but all that to say, that's why I ordered the cake for Friday because that was the next day we we're really going to be. Oh, I think they were actually at work on Friday too. But Friday night we had cake, and then I was just listening to my book, The Way of Kings, which I finished this week from Brandon Sanderson. Um, it was good. It's a good start to like the whole series because it's Stormlight Archive. And it's supposed to be like 10 books long. And he's writing number 5 right now. Um, I think as I'm used to the, the Mistborn trilogy. Because it's only 3 books. So obviously he had to like 
um, the the story is shorter, so all the crazy stuff happens much quick, much more quickly. So the way Kings didn't just didn't have like the whoa ending for me, but it was all like um, things are happening which are good, and now I've started the next book words of radiance and things are happening which are bad. How dare you, Brandon? But I'm also like obsessed with this new character called Patton. Oh my god. <laughs> There's just one part where he just kept saying, I am a stick. And it makes, it's just freaking hilarious in the book. I, like, I was laughing out loud. It was just so adorable. And Patton is my new baby. Anyway, <laughs> just to say that with nerdy book stuff, on Tuesday I put in payday and work and I did some laundry and tidying up. We played some Elden Ring. I folded up all the clothes and listened to the Wave Kings. So that's a typical day. Um, I actually got all of our clothes washing done, which has taken a long time, but um, we like to uh, line dry all of our clothes. We only, we have a dryer, obviously. It was a whole thing, remember, uh, if you've been around. <laughs> um, but I only dry like towels and bedding and underpants and socks and things like that, tea towels. And everything, all of our clothes, we we um, dry we dry on the clothes horse clothesline. So laundry for clothes takes a bit longer, but I got it all done. Um, so that's been really nice. Um, I look where I'm just putting sticker all over the place. I put in Wednesday happy birthday look. Um, yeah, I thought those stickers were cute. Um, it's hard to pair with this kind of kit actually, because I feel like I want to make it elegant, but also I like my cute stickers, so I don't know. <laughs> but I think it turned out well, and then I was just doing more work. Just endless work this week. Um, but, excuse me, I'm burping. Oh my god, every dang video I'm burping. Every dang video, okay. Um, yeah. So here I was running out of space to put in what I wanted. <laughs> and I already put Wave Kings at the bottom. So we're just going to um, shuffle everything about. I put in that like little book icon from the foil set. Even though I had my usual icon with the munchkin with the headphones out. But it wasn't going to fit on a little thing really. So I changed that up. So here I am trying to work out how I'm going to get everything in because I want to. <laughs> Gosh, I kind of, is, there's my recording. I'm sliding through my whole like video like where am I recording up to? <laughs> okay, now I got all the little things in. Let's see what I was actually doing. Uh, we did some more laundry. I think this is the day that I finished the laundry, which was nice. Um, so I actually have the clothes holes like um, packed away and it's very exciting because it's just been out in the living room <laughs> for ages. Then I did some studying for future job stuff. Um, so I'm gonna put in Wave Kings here. Oh and then that night for Lux dinner we got Pizza Hut which is um, the fancy pizza here basically. It's basically the only pizza we get that's like pizza in Australia because it's Pizza Hut, but uh, it's actually really tasty and it's pre-cut, which, you know, pizza in Europe doesn't come cut in slices. Uh, you have to cut it up yourself, so we are too lazy. So we like to get Pizza Hut. It's also very expensive, so it makes sense for a um, splurge dinner. It's 20 euros on sale for a pizza, so it's a lot. Um, and then I set up my retiring art sale. So um, I've got a bunch of art retiring. It's all super old. Like it's my pre, um, like my, the way I currently do my listings where I have the band through the middle to put my title and everything. Um, basically anything that doesn't have that listing style I've put into the retiring section, which is basically up until the end of... 2018 I think I think I changed that while I was in our first place in Finland so it's the end of 2018 so 
yeah so all of that is 50% off on my shop until the end of April so I was just setting all those listings up to be on sale and then on Thursday I finished up my Stranger Things art and released it I got the listings and everything done um, I could have finished it on Wednesday but you know I wanted to uh, I decided to go to bed instead of staying up and um, yeah so I finished all that all up on Thursday and then what what did I do because luck was still at work I'm just completely I think I've talked about everything for this week oh except um, Saturday and Sunday we uh, binge watch the show Severance on Apple on Apple streaming and oh my god it is so good if you like um, weird sci-fi slow burn dry humor you would totally be into Severance it was definitely a slow burn but the last episode is 14 minutes of pure tension we were like freaking out like oh my god just do it oh my god and then it it la it finishes on one of a hell one hell of a cliffhanger. Luckily, it has been renewed for a second season, so you can go in and watch it knowing that there's more. Luckily, uh, but it was so good. Um, it's uh, I I love me um, a slow burn and a a weird, interesting, question filled sci fi that doesn't answer everything as yet <laughs> and um, I had a lot of um, I think with the styling I maybe think a lot of a Nordic show as well as a lot of parts made me feel like it was like Twin Peaks so I had those kind of feelings as well and um, all the actors were so good uh, it was, Severance was a really good show I'm really loving everything I've watched on Apple TV so far it's all just they just got some quality stuff up there, man. I'm surprised. I am surprised. And um, it's nice that you get like a whole free subscription, like a one year subscription free if you buy one of their products. So that is nice. I think it was a laptop we got that. Um, and then uh, that's why I'm out on Thursday. I folded the last of the laundry and I finished The Way of Kings. I had about four hours left that day. So once I did work, because I, I listened to my book when I'm working drawing um so once I finished that I just kind of sat around just listening to the book all day and then luck came home did the stuff with luck and then just um finished the book that night so that was good and that was a like a 45 hour book or something so <laughs> uh, it you know it was good to get it finished they are big epic books and then I got obviously started on the next book, Words of Radiance. And um, it was kind of a pain to keep writing it in every day. So I actually have gone and bought scripts for all the rest of the books because um, I want to write the book in each time rather than just put a read sticker because I don't know. I like to see what I've been reading and it's not always going to, there's going to be weeks where I finish and or weeks where I'm only reading that book the whole time. So I want to know what I was reading that week, you know? I don't know. I like to put in the, the name each time that I'm reading. Um, so I bought scripts. <laughs> so from now on, I won't be writing in Words of Radiance um, title every single time. I'm just going to go back and fill it through with those scripts instead. My gosh, I just had to... um. <laughs> pause the recording because my nose was so runny like I I know what happens especially in the morning I always have a runny nose in the morning when it's colder and then so I blew my nose before I did this because I knew I knew and then my I was oh my god <laughs> I'm just chuck a block full of snot I'm sorry I'm sorry if that's a TMI but it was getting very frustrating to do this voiceover while I need to do blew my nose so that is what I'll do it um <laughs> now let's get back on the task we got on Friday the cake got delivered it 
was a cherry truffle cake. So it was like a chocolate cake with cherry jam through the middle and then like um, a chocolate frosting through the middle and then had the cake and then it was covered in like a ganache, like a sachet top but with cherry. And it was so tasty. Like it actually seemed like the cuff, the chocolate itself had like infused with cherry or something. Anyway, it was a delicious cake and um, we had enough to have um, it all weekend. So that was nice. <laughs> And then I did my new, my nails. I put on these Dashing Diva um, gloss sticker for my nails. These are an old Halloween pair, but um, I've got a lot of Halloween ones, so I need to get through them. <laughs> so I put those on, and then I just watched a bunch of YouTube. And then at night we watched um, a stream of WWE 2K22 game, uh, which is by Adam from Cultaholic. So he was streaming it like every single night. So we're catching up on the VODs. Because I don't know, we enjoy watching him play a wrestling video game. And then I started Words of Radiance. Oh, and that night I um, I wanted to mock that I threw up. And this is actually uh, something I'm trying to monitor. I think if it happens... Um, so this is the second time that I've thrown up from the same thing. Basically from pain is why I threw up. And... Um, and it's only happened once before. So I put it in just and I've saved the position of my planner in both parts of like where I've thrown up. And I'm like, OK, if it happens a third time, then I will go to the doctor. Um, but I'm, I, I suppose I could do it for the second time. But also there's a nurse strike on right now. And um, if I message my doctor because um, here in Helsinki, you can actually just send them a, a text message, like a message online. Um, it usually goes through the nurse first, and I don't really want to like bother the nurses while they're striking. Because <laughs> obviously there are still nurses working, but um, they're working under strike conditions. So I ate no scab, and it's not that bad. It was just a one-night, well, two-night thing. And the last one was in January, so, but if it happens a third time, I'm going to contact uh, my health center and get that seen to, I don't know, it was just a random pain thing, but I did throw up, which is not nice. Luckily, it was all like water because it was like 5 a.m., but anyway. So on Saturday, we did two dungeons in Elden Ring, as I said, like the Ray Lucaria stuff. And we got Phaser Cafe, which we've been loving because they have this really good quiche and salad. So delicious. Um, and then we got Venice Burger for dinner. And then we, we started watching Severance. I think we watched three episodes that night. I think there's nine episodes. Yeah. And they're like uh, 50 minutes each. But really good. I had to binge it. It was so good. And then... Words of Radiance. And then the next day we did some more Elden Ring. Um, and we finished up Severance. So that was really good. So for everything we watch from Apple is like Foundation, Invasion, Ted Lasso. Um, is that it? Severance? We've loved them all though. They've been all so good. And they've all been renewed. Well, Ted Lasso's on its going to have its third and final season this year. But... They're so good. <laughs> and you look up and you're like, this is a crazy tension-filled sci-fi romp. And then you look at the screenshots and they're all just in an office. It's really funny. <laughs> so then we finished up. Um, uh, we had Italian that night. We tried this new Italian place. Uh, it was fine. Italian food here is, uh, is not that great. I need to try the place that's at the railway station, but... You know, and then, then the house is just for tidying up. Yep. Yeah. And then I filmed all of this play with me stuff. I like to film that on a Sunday night. And then I just went to bed and listened to Words of Radiance again. So that was the week. It was busy and not busy. I don't know. You let me know. <laughs> I hope you had a good week last week. Um, but I think the spread turned out so pretty. I just added a bunch of 
extra sparklies throughout little decos but that is the finished spread if you liked it don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to watch new plan with me's every week um i kind of ran out of extra video ideas but i will be doing a make kits picking my make kits with me and obviously sticker hauls every month so stick around for that but otherwise i hope you enjoyed and i hope you have a wonderful week coming up and you stay safe and healthy and just remember that you are awesome and that i love you and i appreciate you and um yeah thanks for being here i'm just showing what i have left over um i don't show all the sheets because this is a week later since i did the base and i threw out the other sheets so sorry bye bye i love you bye <laughs>